spreading out multiple points on the map, and that does mean it can be top two. When Haynes and Caboose look at the I uh, love the restraint here from NV. Finesse just playing very passive. Caboose trying to work his way in. Not able to get there though successfully. Swipe up able to double down. Food trying to stay alive. Also will drop just down the money. Does well to find one, but that'll be all he finds. As we'll get ourselves a 2v1 situation for XX. Spike should be committed here, although not being, at least not as of yet. Crashies has actually got an opportunity to maybe find a 1v1 isolated. Paranoia is going to come through though. That will likely be the end of him. Nice information off the recon bolt. And finally the double chow will come through. And X main for XX. Aaron also trying to get a bit more forward, but has to be a bit cautious as you see those health bars just across the outside of the X-ray. They are abbreviated, and Caboose just challenges with a frenzy, finds the win, and he actually didn't bring a weapon into this round. He just wanted to trust that the frenzy would get the job done, and it's a gamble that relatively pays off, but except for the information that there are a handful of NB members defensively at A, they'll swing quickly back around towards the C side, and they will capture it for free. Yeah, we're going to get pulled out. Last one moment here as well. Here looks like being just a moment of the bandage we take the full retake here, which looks like to be very important for the side of the MB coming down towards Caboose and Two. And what we still have the bank yet. Paranoid the first and next person. He's able to stay alive for a little bit longer than maybe Envy would have liked, and Weeded from the corner able to find himself a double finesse still alive. Very possible 1v2, but the problem here is the fact that Xset, they are positioned all the way deep towards C, and with only 21 health, Vanessa is in a really difficult spot to even stick for this. And really, again, only with the Spectre, it's going to be even more difficult to find the kill death its range as he tries to take the challenge because it's required. Pure will find the elimination, and on to Weeded, who was carrying the spike. So I wasn't going to say that this is a must-win round for Envy, but you need to make this one tight, because let's be fair, if they lose this round, they're back on to a save again. Mummy able to find another elimination. They would have to take the quick scope, but no, BCJ and Pure, they respond back beautifully, and with the wrap right through the B site, they will find a wide open and vacant A site for another very quick flight in the round. On that retake as well, makes it a little bit more competitive. OHP though, but still no plan. Just making sure that Xset and caught up a lot of players surrounding this A site. And Xset, old feet, not too sure whether they should be going towards A or B. They could be walking over towards Crash. He's fighting backside. Yeah, Exit do not want to play by bunkering down in their post plant. They're going to play for kills. So Crashies, who, again, just used that hardest three, he's going to have an angle for free. Finds the first. The second will also be there. Sure, why not? And really, I mean, not just Crash, he's finding three kills. x is putting forward by showing some force early on, and FNS able to find another big elimination. And just keep in mind that round six. I mean, Envy has a broken buy situation with a handful of ultimates. It gets them to a position where they can now essentially get to a full buy. First blood will be countered as Pure is able to take down FNS at long range. Food's going to be here with him. Will be Crashies. First kill will not be there as the Tailwind is enough to elude and avoid. And with that, we did Twifo. They are able to find three. Aaron cleans up the fourth. And I was just... I mean, that could be great. There's no breach in this particular matchup for Emmys. So you can't play aggression from that regard. Caboose is up close again. He hasn't been spotted before. He needs to swing now, actually. He'll get a kill. Ah, Kabusto not able to find the full damage on the Pure, able to exist with 46 HP and hungry for a second kill. Pure able to find the elimination. Now a five on three again, massive weapon advantage, but Mummy has a lot of blade for It gets the first kill cleanly. Oh boy, Mummy makes things interesting. A 3v3, the spike on the ground, and defensively, Envy are going to split this. They're going to send one player in food right back through the defensive Three. spawn, oh. and Mummy able to find the last knife for another headshot on the BCJ. All of a sudden, Envy, they've got weapons to play with and numbers. And Mummy can get out as well. He's got dash available. Reset on the knives. That last one is disgusting. We'll see another player alive, and oh, Aaron's gonna try and do his best. That is gonna be four now. Possibly the ace given to him. Not gonna happen. Fifo shuts him down. Cipher versus Cipher, but the site is clean. Now let's see if this is gonna be a plant or not. The problem here is Fifo doesn't trust. He has no idea where Finesse is. Seconds left. They're still hanging out over towards B for now, but Mummy's wow. done the job required. There is one issue still to be had, and that's the fact that. Even when the plan does come on through, assuming that it does, it probably will at this rate in time. Fly for eventually, no, no one's around here. Finesse doesn't have a gun. He's still coming back on a yeah. pistol. Mummy's done a great job of getting kills, but unfortunately, Finesse is going away. No. 
Spike will be initiated and planted very quickly without contest. So it's going to have to be a retake for NBA. They're trying to surround, but BCJ heads up play, turns backwards, able to find the kill. Neural Depth comes through. No, he's got another 1v1 here, but maybe a little bit more than he can chew here as FNS gave him a workout, but still will fall at the end. 3v2, last members for NB up top. And now change that as Mummy tries to come on down by himself and last player is Crashies and he's down to just two hit points. It's gonna be hard pressed to come out of this window, let alone find the last two eliminations. He'll be tagged up by the recon bolt. An X set will put themselves on it. And another very aggressive T push. I found my wire. A lot of information for we did. You're trying to take that information and turn it into eliminations. He's good for the first. Another first blood for X set. How many times have we been able to say that this game? Another execute towards D. You can add that to the list as well. They so a five on four. NB, they do have the potential of maybe doing a run it back if they could maybe find a weapon for Caboose, but you would feel hard pressed to make that play happen here. There. A little bit of a cheeky setup as Mummy tries to finesse a little bit over the top of Aaron, but again, he's just in a really tough yeah. position. will go into his own cloud burst, try to play up close and personal. One Aaron will not me. allow elimination to come through, and it just comes yeah. down to one of food. And he would come away with absolutely, with the only exception being Crashies. And Pure is just going to walk right on in. Dwyfo lurking, able to find his counterpart over through C Garage. Now with this, the plant will come through. Spike Paranoia going to get their envy. They actually want to contest him a little bit more closely than you might configure. Mummy's able to find one kill, but the plate from is finding some value. Is here going to for some damage. He takes the tailwind right into the face of Mummy. And now it all comes down to the news for 1v4. Does well to find the first two. And hold your horses here. Because you still have X set lurking, Caboose knows he's got a 1v1 on site. He's going to try to play this quickly. Blaze Wall goes up. Has a hot hand to play with as well. He'll use that to zone, but as he tries to take the peak, BCJ was holding. This is going to be perfect for X set. They have, you know, Fight for on the side, just checking for information. They know it's A for sure. Now Paranoi comes on through and they lose so many MV get the first turn. Ah, but also say X set has a lot of damage. Confirmed it! We did confirms it with the second kill. Needs to get a third, will not be allowed. And now Thwaifo, the late rotator in, will have point of contact towards his left. You want check it. to check it. And unfortunately will not. Econ Bolt, and then a Paranoia immediately to follow. He actually doesn't delete the Recon Bolt, so he has to vacate the site. Dwyfo caught in Garage. Easy kill for Caboose. So with that, Envy will get a plant. We were able to find one elevation, but instantly traded. We've got ourselves a 4v3 in favor of the attackers. Just for what it's worth as well, we did not really take them down. That Recon means leaving site. The Paranoia's going to slow things down a little bit. That does cost the life of Dwyfo, so if he takes down the Recon, Throws the paranoia, allows the wife a little bit more space to work. They can swing on each other. It's a much better situation. The dark cover, it's going to come in just in time as well for the defense. And it will now be to to pick up and kill, making things a lot more workable. They're getting a lot more now. It's going to be a struggling one alive, and he'll go down. Food can't make a response happen, and that will be the defense. Of which 50 seconds remaining. Garrus control has been found. They need to walk up long. We did it. It's his job again to try and hold on. It will be spotted. I don't believe he's been tagged. No, he has been tagged up. Mummy can still get this kill. Looking for it. He's away. Why for in trouble? We'll go down. I it's very exactly similar to what we Alan. Here, though, able to find one kill. And BCJ with the check throw, able to find FNS. So now it's just down to a 3v2. Envy is down to terminal HP as well. Hunter Sturry is going to come through. X that they can standing. smell the win and they take care of food. That's the spike carrier down. Just down to mommy. 1v3, make it a 1v2. There's an opportunity here. He does have an updraft to play with, but no smokes. And of course, more importantly, no spike initially. So now as he has to stick. XZ are going to allow him to plant. Tailwinding is going to be one. Good damage for Mummy, but one out of ammunition. Here able to clean up the easy kill. No problem for the defusal. And with that XZ come out hot in this winner's matchup in Group C with a 13 to 3 over Envy. 33 HP, one bullet, and no. Recon Bolt coming out, also dealing with the trap wire here. Thwaifo wants to get aggressive in his own cyber game. He's able to find a first headshot, but it's not enough. Mummy able to respond. So now on the defense for X that it's just going to be down to BCJ. With him will be weeded. They're going to come forward and try to channel this. Again, this is a force by situation for Envy. And they will get the spike planted, but it comes at a cost. We have ourselves the 3v3. Impact play here could actually be... It was a finesse coming through Uga right now. He was unknown for a while. He's taken down. Can't quite get the gun that we did. Down to just pure R now. It does go down to Caboose anyway. And it is going to be Aaron versus pure R. Or rather, Caboose versus pure R. Sorry, Aaron. 
On the offense, they like to try to get the brim ultimate or as much as possible, but he's just going to sit in the back, Will Food, just to try to watch the cross. He will reward him one kill opportunity for a second, and he will grab that as well. So no ultimate orbs required here as he's already just one away from finding the first orbital strike of the game. I was going to say as well, you want to see Food get an ultimate, he'll do it the hard way. Maybe the easy way. He's got two already. Looking for number three. Gets it confirmed. And that will be Opal Strike in the pocket. Won't need it, though. I don't think this particular round will play as more an exit over towards B. But I think the plunge just happened on A now. Envy can comfortably take this one. Just one alive. He'll get cleaned up as well. Pyro can't get a single trade. And it's a toggle on the open orb. Paranoia is going to come through. Opal Strike to clear out ramp. It's now Caboos forward. The blast back will find one. But it's Aaron with two. The initial coming through with just essentially the paint shells. And BCJ is also pulling up the Hunter Spurious able to find elimination. Pure responded to Mummy across his screen. Crashies will trade, but what a response this was for XX. Seekers will actually be thrown out for the 1v2. Crashies will get information that there is a player over towards heaven, but is tagged up by the Aldrone and needs to get this fight. Looks like Aaron wants to try to make a play with his BZJ. will free him up with the Aldrone, so there will be one weapon likely salvaged to it for Exet, but still a huge advantage when it comes to NV overall in the 4v4. I'm going to be honest, though, Puro may be getting a little bit too greedy there. You can get the kill on the opening blaze storm knives. Just put a smoke down and grab the gun. Thwaifo, thinking he's got a timing on the food. We'll find that he doesn't. And that is just going to make numbers much worse for Exit, as I believe they will have one gun available now, but one gun it's unlikely to give them a round win. One ultimate as well in terms of from the shadows, but you already have the player on site. A run down two versus four. And MB will be able to get the full two victory. They'll get the fourth round as well. And we don't expect that we just going to get too, too much there. He's got that one gun available and he'll back away with it tonight. Well, at least for now, he's going to be challenged. Not just from the front, but you also have a long lurk at an FNS coming up from behind. Not going to be required. That Dwyfo using a cyber cage. Just trying to peek over the top, over towards where this spike could potentially be planted. We did try to throw some shots. Oh. And it's Dwyfo who actually kills the spike planter. Aaron now rotating over up top on the AP to be able to find another. Crashy's trying to respond, but only comes away with one. We got a 4v2. Left. Time becoming a problem. Crashy's pace dropping through, and Weeded will find the final. Into, you know, three defaulting towards A. Weed is getting. A little bit jumpy, spider senses are tingling, so they'll start moving over towards a rotating position and spawn and get over towards PA's AP. Here comes the attack for Envy. Waifo oh, not expecting the boost coming out of Hooken so quickly will actually find himself a double. PCJ awkward 1v1 here as Mummy misses the right click with the Blade Storm, but the right click out of the classic hits a little bit harder. Evan S in a corner, able to find one more, and now Aaron with the Spectre. He's completely zeroed out his economy for this purchase as well, so he's gonna give this a try. We'll find one elimination, but that'll be all caboose over the beast. We have a very early 5v4 for either team. BCJ is gonna make it a little bit more competitive for exit. Caboose will find at least one. We'll be able to get it at the cost of a lot of HP. Oh, and this is gonna be an easy swing for BCJ. No problem on that decision making. So Mike does go down though, and there's an orbital strike to play with, and I haven't seen a Molotov come through, so there is a little bit of post plant finesse that can come out, but food. He's actually pushed through elbow. It's a 1v4. He's going to commit for the orbital strike. Still has that Molotov, like mentioned. But as he comes out of the sky smoke, BCJ will find the easy kill. And that Plays from MV. That's going to be a clean sight now. They should be confident that no one's home. And soon, Exit's going to know something's up. I mean, you have Aaron over towards Shower Seeds. Nothing, can't hear anything. No one's coming through from short. Double smoke's coming in, in, but where's the welcoming party? Oh. Not anyone to be found at BCJ. Oh. A heads up the no, okay. I don't know that elbow's clean. He goes for the kill, finds it. Massive first pick there. Exit. Able to find one more with Pure. The spike will be planted. The Hunter's Fury expended defensively. Now it's just down to two. Crashies and FNS versus the three of Exet. Trailblazer will find a bit of information. Sky Smoke surely to dissipate here too, but there's a trap wire in the way of this main doorway. Beautiful angle that you can kind of see as far as how this hit's gonna come through. There's the recon hole. A little bit of difficulty dealing with it, but Crash is able to find the first kill to Pure, who was not able to find a tail, went through. Nerf that they'll not being spent. 2v2, and a little bit of an advantage here as the clock is starting to tilt the way. But Aaron for one! The lineup could potentially be there for Crash, he's dead, it is! Quick rotation from mid sand. There is a trap wire here, and that's going to lead to a conflict, but the pistols will not come away with any kills on either side. A lot of damage will come through, but as BCJ works his way onto the A site, that'll be good for first blood out of food. The only actual defender for Envy that was on the site. We at least have a good retake scenario here. They have plenty of players coming through from Spike multiple planted. angles. Make sure you remind yourself that FNS is onto the back. Aaron certainly has no clue about it. It's a 4v4 now. 
They can come through from Shadows, they can come through from Short as well. It's going to be a lot of plays from Exit still on site. Crash is coming through from Spawn, gets the kill to fly for Crash. We'll try and buy a little bit more time to allow the rest of the MV to enter, but there's low HP in there. And it's, it's going to be limited time here, so both players now taking down a critical HP. Well, he's going to try to make a play over to Lamps, but it's BCJ to respond with, with three of the round. He finesse is rotating on in. Yep, this is it. MV note. Mummy close by, food on the opposite angle. Here's the push through, Mummy for one, able to tailwind through. Seeing if anyone's gonna chase him to the teleporter, but no contest there. Now it's just down to FNS. Frenzy, good for one, and that's actually enough for Envy. Yeah, the spike is down, but you're in a 3v3. You're gonna have one long play come out of Mummy as he takes the teleporter from B. So it's going to be an opportunity for a pinch, but except they do have their exit strategy set up. It's going to be over through A mid. Mummy trying to clear out showers, while Steven to clear out lamps, and Aaron will challenge wide. And with that, it's a 3v2 with X set in your favor. It's actually huge for Aaron. He just goes and drive here as all wins his 1v1, and now it's just down to crash. He's 150 HP. That's the only real advantage here. Massive kill to Aaron. Two members alive, but look, they're both critical. One tap from any of these shots has got to be enough, but can't check all the angles. This out the Molotov. Food is going to be weakened in this overall utility, but Finesse wants to take an invite versus Pure, and well, the Clodburst, he thought while it was pulled out, was going to be enough to give FNS an advantage, but not the case here. Opening kills good for X, that spike also planted defensively, though the retake looking really quick, and collected at that. Caboose and Crashy is good for the responding three, but still work to be done here. Trailblazer are going to come out, we did, as he gets scouted by this, looks like he will, and he actually gets concussed. Paint shells over the top. Gonna deal a significant amount of damage to the armor, but not so much to his health pool. And Aaron trying to watch the rotation will not be able to keep Weed in safe. Very clean retake from Crash. He's the shoulder pick. Actually finds a lot of information. The Hunter's Shrew gonna come out for Exet, but it's gonna come completely empty. And Finesse with the trap wire in the smoke will find first blood. A beautiful start for Envy. Pure has made his way forward, but <laughs> you can kind of feel he doesn't know what to look at. And Mummy will find a way to capitalize with you on the operator. Fake oh. number three. Can he get the forward? Absolutely! Mummy for four and Envy taking convincing for Envy. Try to get to that map three split after a 13 to three loss on Haven. Trailblazer comes through. Mummy holding close. Spy cam now also plays for X at a shoulder will be seen. Mummy not gonna hit the shot. Second attempt, oh. why not? Caboose there for his second health and now crashing. Wants to get involved, he will- Confirmed information, nothing there. One more guiding light to check Hooker. Yeah, that's clean as well. So it's gonna be a step now for Envy where everybody is home and Exo gonna try and walk into everybody. Look at the long road picture as well. Caboose will try and get there in time. Food is down early. So that's gonna be a little bit of a last one for one so far on the opening hill. Neural Theft comes out. I'm gonna pull out the Blade Storm as he misses the opening operator. Trying to Caboose is on the long flank. Trade's happening in that same department, but the blast pack that gets put down. We did actually comes around at the proper time. And we'll go to a 2v2. Crash is having cleared out lamps, knows that there's at least one more member threatening through mid, but doesn't expect there to be two. Is a real question, remaining. but it doesn't make a difference because Envy stick for the defuse. And with that, they put themselves on map point. Getting up a lot of control over towards B. Opening aggression over towards B long. And actually, it's oh my goodness, so much damage off of once again the shockers, but Caboose doesn't get isolated. He will find first blood, but BCJ winds up a harder fury from the heavens, but it doesn't make a difference because Boot still pulling aggressively will turn things into a quick 3v3. But beyond all of this engagement, X set, they have actually found their way onto the B site for free. Mummy's here to contest, but only with an operator and a frenzy. He needs to wait for a backup. There's no way Mummy's going to do a lot here. Maybe just play for some control. We did a walk inside lane. We'll go down. Wow. And we did, unfortunately, is always the first point of contact into Mummy's operator. Sadly, that's true. And for Envy now, this is a lot more workable. Especially the two versus one now. Aaron has to do it all. Finesse doesn't have a challenge. Finesse will challenge anyway. That was maybe a little bit risky, but okay, you'll give it to him. He wins it. You know, Finesse has won a lot of 1v1s today on Vine, so. Maybe the confidence is quite high, but uh, that round was very interesting as MV Wolf on the sky. So I don't know if you're going to get the same value in terms of the jet combinations, but hey, Crashes has found some success on sky already. I don't know if it's going to happen on split though. Bind is a much different map.
And again, it's just one of those things that 76% win rate defensively for Envy, just kind of setting the expectations here as far as what they're trying to do in this first half. Whereas the attack for X, but it's also been very, very good. Mummy good for the first blood, not there for the second. Trailblazer will actually confirm the kill into Weedon, who was tagged up very low, but we stay even in numbers of 3v3 to start things off. The spike had been dropped, but with that X that will actually make sure they commit and try to get this planted very quickly. Definitely. Finesse, think Not about long. taking the post plant away, but will be shrugged back, and now it's time to boot on the long flank. It's caught off, and now a big advantage for X set of the post plant 3v2. Or I should rather say very difficult plant because MV had a lot of control there. The big news is the fact that they do lose, what was it, I believe, uh, it was food coming through from the backside on the big flank. It's not crashed the 1v1 one one will take that victory, and now a final 1v1 to decide the pistols here. 42 HP for FNS, and not a lot of ammo, unfortunately, over towards the ghost ball as well and this is where things are going to get really dicey is still quite a lot of work through from spike uh, oh no that's not going to work out for damage but the spike is down in a very terrible position round is basically over now unfortunately yeah. that is going to be a 100 percent mistake i don't think that was on purpose at all exit clearly just gave the spike to the wrong person i my guess would be that pyro didn't know he had the spike because there's just no way you intend like that as the jet with the spike in hand normally you would do that as the entry fragger but the entry fragger doesn't take the spike so this is going to be very difficult now food gets a nice spray down each jet will clean up the uh, his rifle as well still a 2v3 i think they want to save at least the rifle but the rifle will go for it anyway oh it looks like they're going to make a play i mean they were able to force out mummy's tail when they know where he's at the problem is there's just too many numbers of envy's defense and of course, they will hold strongly as anticipated. So a guiding light, but the information should be there. Snake bite's going to come through. And crashes, do you try to peek this wide? Dark cover also being there. There's the first kill. Crashes will also do that. That's the spike. Flashpoint coming out. Crashes doesn't know there's a player nearby, but it doesn't make a difference. You've got Mummy up top ready to go with Caboose, and Envy will not drop a single member. As X said, big round for Envy. With an ultimate advantage coming here in round number seven. There will still be weapons to play with, though, for X set. But of course, when you expect Pure R, he will just be using the Blade Storm, and he's been aggressive so far, really, no matter what weapon he brings to the table. So, can he be the tip of the spear here for X set once more through the middle of the map? Defensively, Envy is in a bit of a split. They've got three over towards B, and none of them really get a position to read too much early information towards this play through mail. The Trailblazer and the Boombot will both be spent, so yeah, you're able to get a read here marginally for Envy, but X set has so much time to play with. I'm not too sure how much the Trailblazer actually saw there because despite there being multiple members in Myth, Wi-Fi and BCG were hiding around corners, so potentially only Pyro got spotted. That would be very good for Exit. Possible contact over towards this piece wow, kind of thing as well. Yeah, Mummy doesn't care about the boat. Straight on to Aaron now. The blades connect. The answer is no. Caboots will take down the spike carry as well, so this is falling apart. It's oh. a mummy. It's just gonna demolish exit, and the rest of them will fall just like that. It's not even an eco, by the way. They have full guns, and they still decide to gamble stack, and that is gonna be unfortunately them losing a lot of the pot. Here comes the old Caboose was trying to punt for the showstopper, but deleted by Aaron up close and personal. But as will get down low, he'll find his second kill through the dark cover, though. We did able to find one in BCJ just exactly. It'll just be food here on the half armor, but uh, to counter that, I would say the regret does a lot. And oh. here we go, Mummy trade and doesn't care. It'll be a place from either side. It is a trade that favors MB for now. I know Piero is still around, so food, that one member that doesn't have full armor. I guess it doesn't really matter versus the knives. The Aaron carrying Spike this time around. Pyro has made his way into heaven. They might want to call for another rotation, depending on how much control Pyro can really get, but they need another kill quick because it's 3v4. And Pyro's just going to have to work this by himself. I think he recognizes that he should have food somewhere in the vicinity, but food catches him completely unawares. Poison Cloud will block the site from the B tower, but that will not stop the boots from even finding a little bit of extra damage down low on the Aaron. So yeah, the spike is on, but this is a 2v4 from the low ground that Xset will have to try to work through. Spike planted. There's the plant, Snake Bite will try to stall out any rotation defensively from Sand. Shells will flush him back, and that will confirm a bit more damage, making life a little bit easier for Envy on the 4v2 retake. Yeah, there are only a couple of shots away now on that crash. Onto Caboose, which doesn't feel great. He's on 22 HP. 
that no matter which way you slice it will be a 5v2 somewhere in the map whether that's on A or B they're gonna at least bypass left. all the killjoy utility as we get to the 30 second mark now that's actually where BCJ is gonna start getting a little bit nervous here comes Swifo one flash available needs to get a lot done ah uh, he can't confirm the full kill gets a lot of damage but it's crashing as he walks away on the entry now it's BCJ from behind. Will be flashed up as time was becoming a consideration, but MV successfully gets the spike down. And now you got the blind to come through successful. Again, crashes for a third in the spam trap the dark cover. Nearly give him the fourth, but as it dissipates, he'll confirm the damage that he previously Early rolling thunder gonna come out over through B main. That's just to try to force gear forward. We did will be slightly flashed, but Barely able to shrug it off just to make a time. Finds himself the first. Still has to back away from what very well could have been a second. And with that, NB actually take advantage through the B tower with two clean kills. So even though they get blooded, they're in a 3v4. Ooh. And we did. We'll tie things up 3v3. Gear one more. Good one trades back remaining. and forth, leading us to just a 1v1. And FNS wants to go quick. He's going to take the challenge down the rope and finds the third kill. With a couple of cohorts to try to maybe try to challenge this over towards a ramp. Yeah, there's the flashpoint. Yellow comes out the caboose. Good for the first paint shells right over the top of him. He will be able to allow time for Mummy to be there for his trade. So value for Envy as they go two for one. Now Avery inside this fight. Oh, he's got a nice little play off the killjoy. But it's not going to be enough. It's X set. They were in a 2v1 situation and Crash is away from the play and needed to collect the spike. Oh, good news for Crash Easer's full util. No Seekers though. Seekers in a 1v2 would have been excellent. That would really give them the ability to actually clutch. But now we'll have to just see what he can do with the util. The only real advantage he has is that he's unknown. Exit have no idea where he is. But once he starts using util, this is where... Especially for Thwaifo, who's in a great position. He's not going to get checked. Surely Thwaifo doesn't get checked yet. Oh my god, that flick though. Nasty for crashes. Scout destroyed. Trailblazer won't find too much paranoia. Will connect, but the challenge will not be allowed. Blind coming out for the guy. Why does he try to debate the ultimate or BCJ was already waiting and he will be able to convert things up and extract two players in this position is the real question. If you're Envy, the answer seems to be no, as Mummy will be the first one to drop. And Envy are really kind of caught up a creek without a paddle right now in the middle of the map. There are members defensively all over them. And they're going to find a way to get a couple of very favorable trades. And that's not a bad way to start things off for FNS. But does he play for the weapon? He tries to. And BCJ was still waiting. Spike on the ground in front of his feet. And a 4v2 for Xset's defense. I'm going to be honest. They are a little bit dangerous from Xset. Obviously, they have two people over towards Vents. But if you're MV and perhaps you're not expecting to really win the round, where you can get some guns, where you can use flying possible win conditions, you can trade possibly over towards Vents, pick up a couple of weapons. That would be it for you. But now, numbers dwindling. BCJ is finally going to get traded by food. We'll pick up a phantom. Has a decent amount of armor to work with and an ultimate as well. Where's he got to go though? Over towards A. All right, does it, but I'll play it. Waiting for Impura. Might want to just let the plant come on through. You can play this one safely. Wait for teammates. Still have Fyfo with flashes available. We'll work seconds. together. Or will they? We'll find one. Paranoia's going to come through. He's got enough time to get this spike planted. There's not going to be an immediate challenge off it. So again, value for Envy in the eco round. And it's not even over yet. This is very clutchable. Although, there's the double swing coming through, and X-Set will find their ninth round, but as mentioned again, NV, you might at certain points do try to nitpick the fact that, oh, why are you spending the ultimate, but he walks away with the kill and the plant. That's good to help not only so far between these teams. Trailblazer are able to work its way on towards B, not going to see anything in the way, and FNS actually finds first blood to the BCJ, so there's an opening not just over towards A, but also up top of Cure in the corner! Oh. He's able to find not just one, but two, including his operator yeah. counterpart. That's going to be it. That could be the round done and dusted already. Envy have lost control, except for the fact that you do have Caboose. Fairly deep. Might want to call over the rotation. Food is waiting to see who's got better controls. It crashes over on B right now. He's walking through. He's a bunch of util forces to be popped and doesn't have to commit, by the way. Can just draw attention, force Exit to rotate over towards B, and then they'll play it from there. But it does look like it will be B and in and demons to boost channels for food have made their way into heaven. You gotta keep in mind there's a lockdown available if Xset choose to use it. Left. And you feel like with how far forward NVR, you might have to use it. There goes the guiding light. Food able to get the plant down. Caboose clears things up. There's the defending lockdown. Will there be enough here? Oh, Caboose reads the second one trap to clear remaining. things up for the third, but Food there. Food trade leads things down to Twifo for a 1v2. And Crashy's trying to play with the deletion of the lockdown. That actually leaves a very awkward situation. Now he'll get onto the site going quickly, but food was waiting at NB. They will make their way through Group C on top of it. 13 to 